I grew up in an area that is close to a river, so as a kid, I would often spend my time by the riverside doing all sort of stuff like swimming, fishing, insect hunting, practicing flips, well basically anything a person can do by the riverside I guess. Though there was just one thing that I always wanted to do but never quite managed to do it and that was sailing on a boat or even a raft. I have seen fishermen sailing on a raft made of banana trees a couple of times to catch fish and it really intrigued me as I always wanted to know what it feels like to sail on one of those but unfortunately I never got a chance to get on board one. At that time I thought of asking the fishermen for a free ride but I didn't. I was just too shy to ask as there were other people watching him as well. I regretted not asking him at that time cause I never got another chance again. It's not common for fishermen to bring their boats or raft in this river. At least not in the area I was in. Anyway a couple of years went by after that day and my desire to sail on a raft still hasn't died down. However I convinced myself that if I was ever going to experience the joy of sailing on a raft I'm gonna have to build it myself and that is exactly what I did or rather what me and my friends did. Meet my friends, let's call them Kevin and Summer. Oh and I'm Saber by the way, it's not my real name but that's what some of my friends call me now thanks to my username in a game called Clash of Clan. It's funny I've already uploaded 8 videos on my channel and I still haven't told you my name. I'll tell you my real name sometime in the future but for now you can call me Saber. Now let's get back to the story. So my friends Summer and I were fishing on our usual fishing spot when Kevin showed up. Hey guys, how many fish did you catch? Oh hi Kevin, we only caught 3. You know what guys, there's a great fishing spot further upstream, why don't we go there? Really? Yeah, I've been there once before. What do you say Summer, shall we go? We're hardly catching any fish here. Yeah, sure. Alright guys, follow me. So we started walking upstream for several minutes covering around 1.5 km from our usual fishing spot. Once we got there, Kevin showed us the spot. There's the spot down there guys, what do you think? Hmm, seems like a nice spot for sure. So we started fishing in this new spot and were having a great time chatting with each other as there were three of us now. The only problem with this place was, it was basically the same as the one we came from as far as fishing goes, meaning we were hardly catching any fish. I think we only caught 6 small fish in like an hour or so, it was starting to get pretty boring. And that's when I spot something. Hey guys look, there's a large banana tree flowing toward us, why don't we use it as a flotation device and swim back home. Yeah that's a great idea, let's do it. Guys are you forgetting something, I can't swim you know. Ah don't worry, that banana tree will keep us afloat, besides the river is not that deep at this time of year anyway. Guys I think I have an even greater idea, how about we build a raft instead. There's a bunch of banana tree growing over there, we can cut some of it and build a raft with that. Ooh I don't know, what if the owner sees us cutting it? What do you mean? Those banana trees are growing in the middle of nowhere, it was probably brought in by the flood or something. Alright let's do it, if anything happens we can make a run for it I guess. You guys are just looking for unnecessary trouble you know, besides what are we going to use to cut the banana tree anyway? Oh don't worry about that, I'm carrying my kunai knife with me. Of course you are you freaking ninja. Haha <laughs> praise me some more, I wasn't praising you dumbass. Man during those days I was going through my ninja phase. I always carry my kunai or shuriken wherever I go. I still have some of the weapons with me by the way, I don't play with them anymore but I can't seem to throw it away either. And now that I think about it, I think that was the only time I found it to be useful. Other times it was just a sharp piece of metal that makes annoying clanking noise and create unnecessary holes in my pocket. Anyway, we cut the banana tree that was flowing toward us and dragged it on the riverbank. We then cut down 3 more banana trees and placed them together side by side. Next, we used our fishing poles and a couple of sticks we found to connect the banana trees together. Our fishing pole was basically just a bamboo stick with a string and a hook attached to it, so it worked out great as a connector for the raft. We then used the banana fiber to tie everything up and boom, our raft was ready for sale. Now that everything was ready, it was time to leave. As we tried to drag the raft on the river to set sail, we realized something. Our raft was heavy as f**k. Man, we did not take the overall weight into consideration while building it. Else, we would have built it close to the river and not 15 or 20 meters away like some idiot. The three of us nearly broke our back dragging this thing across the sandy river bank. As we got closer, we heard someone yelling at us from across the river. I don't remember exactly what he was yelling about. Maybe it was something to do with us possibly drowning or something. 
Well, it didn't matter. As soon as we heard him yelling at us, we just instinctively took off running. We did not spend even a second assessing the situation, which I think is weird because I've never reacted that way before. And we would have just kept on running had it not been for Kevin. We ran a good 30 meters away from the raft when Kevin was like, Yo, guys, why are we running? He's standing across the river. There's no way he can catch us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go. So we immediately turned around and started running toward the raft. I'm sure they confused the heck out of that guy. Once we got to the raft, we started dragging it like the weight didn't even matter. Makes sense, cause our adrenaline was super high with excitement. Once the raft hit the water, we all jumped on board and started paddling with our hands to get away from there. The whole time we could hear the guy shouting at us, but I was like, This is the day you will always remember as the day you almost caught Captain Jack Sparrow. What? Man, that was fun. Not only was I finally able to fulfill my desire of sailing on the raft, but I also made a daring escape while at it. Well, maybe calling it a daring escape is a stretch, but that's what it felt like at that time. And I would love to do it again if possible. Though it's unlikely I would do it as I'm not as mischievous as I was back then, but you never know. One thing I know for sure is that I will certainly be keeping my eyes open for any wild banana tree growing by the riverbank, just in case.